This video explains how to apply the which min and which max functions in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a very simple example. And this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called vec is appearing at the top right. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector object contains certain numeric values. And you can also see that some of these values are smaller than other values. So let's assume that we want to return the position of the first maximum value in our data object. Then we can apply the which.max function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our data object in which we want to search for the first occurrence of the maximum value. So in this case, our data object is called vec. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that the value three is returned. And the reason for that is that the maximum value in our data object is appearing at the third index position of our vector. So as you can see, the value six is the largest value in our data object. And this value is appearing at the third position of our vector. So we can also apply the which.min function to return the minimum value of our data object, as you can see in line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, the value four is returned because the minimum value zero is appearing at the fourth position of our vector. And now you can also see that the which min and which max functions only return the very first occurrence of the maximum and minimum values because the value zero is appearing twice in our vector object. However, the which min function only returns the first position, so the position number four. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.